Hey everybody, it's your boy Dino Dean. And the first lady of food, Miss Coretta. And, and we're, we're the, the Black, Black Foodies. Guys, today we are in the West Rogers Park neighborhood here on the far north side of Chicago. And lately with my work schedule, guys, I have been on the go so much. Miss Coretta and I have not been able to hang out and do what we do, have a little us time. And I decided to take her out to a restaurant we went to years ago. And it's a fondue restaurant and the place is called Fondue Stew for a well-deserved date night. Ready, Miss Coretta? I am so ready, honey. Let's go get it, baby. Let's go get it. Guys, I am here with the owner of Fondue Stool, Carol Mozzarelli. How are you doing, Carol? Fine. How are you, Dino? I am doing absolutely phenomenal. Tell us a little bit about your place. Well, I've been in business for 42 years. Wow. I've had this restaurant and uh, ran it, and now I have my two sons helping me, one on the floor and one running my kitchen. Um, it's a great place to dine around Valentine's Day. Our place is really, really busy. Um, and it's the nature of fondue, where you cook at your tables. So we bring out the cheese fondue, and you do the dipping of different things in the cheese fondues, and then you have the meat fondues uh, with the vegetables. Everything we serve here is fresh. And then ch uh, chocolate fondue for dessert. We just had Mother's Day. We had quite a few families okay. with their kids. Um, it is romantic. But also a family-friendly place as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us in your wonderful restaurant. And guys, we are about to get down with this fondue. Get ready to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. That's Thanks great. Again. Sounds good. All right. Enjoy. And guys, we're about to start this wonderful journey in fondueism. Is that a word? <laughs> And I'm going to start off with these Granny Smith apples. And it comes in this beautiful, creamy, luscious Swiss cheese fondue. And I'm going to let Miss Greta have a little taste. Mm. How is it? Oh, the tartness from that apple and the Swiss cheese. Mmm, just yummy. Well, let me feed you, honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Return the favor. Well, Miss Treader didn't follow instructions. She's supposed to wait a second. She's trying to burn, get that skin hanging off the top of my mouth. No, we don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very, very decadent for you cheese lovers. This is an absolute delight, and the tartness yes. from the Granny Smith apple, along with the Swiss cheese, man, it's the perfect combo. Mm -hmm. And up next, guys, is the French bread, and it comes cubed. I'm gonna give Miss Coretta a little taste of this as well. Look at that cheese. Mm. Mm. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> but not too hot, she's not screaming. <laughs> like the perfect appetizer. The apples, the bread, and the creamy Swiss cheese fondue. Mm. And I'm gonna try a little bit of this myself. <laughs> See what it's all about. And there's some hint of some type of spice in the Swiss cheese. Yeah, I taste it. I believe we have some nutmeg going on in here, guys. Fondue stew definitely has it going on, and now we're going to be moving on to our second course. I have your entrees here. 
Pardon me, sir. Okay, so the oil pot is hot and ready to go. We're gonna go over the sauces from left to right. Left to right, you have raspberry. And the fish have a tendency to slide off. When you put a scallop or a fish on, place a piece of vegetable in front of it, and that, pre that prevents it from sliding off. Um, that's pretty much it. Do you have any questions? And with it being our date night, we decided to order the Romeo and Juliet, and it comes with shrimp, tilapia, scallops, beef, chicken, guys. It's gonna be all good, but the only kicker is we gotta cook it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of coming to a fondue restaurant. And guys, we have the cooking time to let you know all of that. And it's just very brief, one minute to two minutes per piece of uh, right, so protein. Hot, and we're about to get down with the get down. Yeah. Guys, we just seared off a piece of beef and we're gonna dip it in this Bernay sauce. But first we're gonna sprinkle it with their house seasoning and I'm gonna feed my little dumpling. Mm. <laughs> what you think? We cooked it just one minute, and it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say it was it's about medium well done. So nice and tender. That seasoning, really good. It just like takes it to another level. And now we're gonna move on to some of the seafood. Seafood we prepared is the fish, the shrimp, and the scallops. What type of fish is it? It's tilapia. Okay. Okay. So, like Dino tried to eat his scallop and mushroom. Then we cooked with it. Mm. Did we mm. cook it well? Man. <laughs> <laughs> This is just totally groovy. And I didn't put any house seasoning, anything on it. Man, this is off the chain. Yeah, try the shrimp and the potato. Hold on, it has a tail on it. I'll just pull it off. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, honey, on to the tilapia. Mm. What do we have on the end? Onion? So. Mm. Really fresh, really, really good. And what I like about preparing it in the soybean oil, it gives a nice sear to the outside. It gets it really crunchy, nice little crust, mm -hmm. and everything is just locked in and moist on the inside. Yeah, this is a top flight. Oh, wow. But right now, you know where we're going. Y'all know I love that yard bird. <laughs> I usually hit that yard bird, but I'm gonna let Miss Coretta get some of this cluck cluck. <laughs> and we just took some of these cube pieces of chicken, cooked them for about two and a half minutes in this soybean oil. I put on the house seasoning and I just dipped it in the curry sauce. Ready, Miss Coretta, give it a go? Mm, give it to me. <laughs> you sound like Rick James, give it to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. The house dressing. Wow. Well, I'm about to try it now. Because mm. y'all know curry, I love that y'all That curry burger. sauce. <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. Yeah, that curry sauce is really good. It really just takes you to an Asian restaurant with this curry sauce. Mm -hmm. Man, this is really, really spot on, guys. Make sure for any romantic date night, you come out to fondue stew mm -hmm. and come get it in, guys. You're gonna be preparing your own food, you eat all the cooking times, mm -hmm. and it's just a fun time, a good time, and a really romantic time. Give me some sugar, sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and guys, right now, the favorite part of Miss Coretta's meal has arrived, the dessert fondue. And we have fudge and caramel, and a nice selection of fruits, so. And we've pre-prepared a s'more, guys. And that's one of the favorite things that we like to do on New Year's Eve with our children in our fireplace. Ready, Miss Girl? Let's check it out. I'm ready. Well, you're ready. <laughs> mm. The perfect cap off to a delightful meal. Mm. Those s'mores are definitely on point. <laughs> but we're going to keep it moving. And guys, right now, I am about to dip a fresh banana into some caramel. 
and feed this little sweet delight to my sweet delight. Oh, any sweet. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go with the strawberries. Mm -hmm. Strawberries and chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I can yeah. get used to this. Mm -hmm. How is it? The dessert queen likes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go with the piece of this pound cake. I'm gonna dip it in the caramel. Mm. Oh my goodness. But this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is sinfully good. Mm. But guys, we have the watermelon, the Granny Smith apples, the cantaloupe, a whole variety of fruits in which to dip into these chocolates and caramels. Mm -hmm. The perfect ending to a perfect time here at Fondue Stew. Guys, it's definitely worth your time. Make sure you come check them out as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Give me some sugar. <laughs> <laughs>